Bryce Harper has more than proven his worth and is on the Mount Salmore of National League East position players. I've got Bryce up there leading the way along with Ronald Acuna Jr. I mean, look, even though I hate the Braves, how can you knock what Acuna Jr. has done? It's historic. And then Austin Riley, who is just an all-around terrific ball player. He's proven to be clutch as well. And then I'm going to go with my guy, Francisco Lindor. Post 30-30 season, he's had really two good years in a row for the Mets. I think he should have been an all-star. I know you can make an argument and throw in a couple of others, but those would be my top four. Ariel, who do you have as your top four National League East position players? We agree. Agree on two. Bryce Harper, he's the only other player to have this high of a slugging percentage in the postseason who's not named Babe Ruth or Lou Gehrig. Wow. Hmm. Ronald Acuna Jr., first 40 70 season ever. I have to add in Luis Arise, who won the batting title nice in back to back choice. seasons. I like that choice. First time to win the batting title in two different leagues back to back seasons. Then, of course, your home run leader of this year, 54 homers for the Braves' first baseman, Matt Olson. You don't have any Mets up there, though. Hmm. No, I don't. That bothers me a little bit. I knew you were going to pick Lindor. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, Look, I think this is really difficult. There are a lot of good players in the National League East. One and two was really easy to me. Ronald Acuna has got to be number one. He is the most dynamic. He is the best all-around player this division has to offer. Look at those statistics right there. Bryce Harper, number two. Now, that order might be flip-flopped a little bit, but I know this about Bryce Harper. He looked really good in Yankee pinstripes, uh-huh. and it's a travesty he's not a Yankee. I know Sean Gelman is giddy that he's a Philly, and he's the new Mr. October down there. I'm putting Trey Turner number three. Now, I know he's new to the division, and I know he's coming off three months where he didn't play his best baseball. But this is a guy who can do everything and impacts the game in so many different ways. Four was tough. My honorable mention was Austin Riley, but I'm giving some love to the local guy. I'm putting Pete there. I know he's got a 217 batting average, but look at the power over the last four years. It's as good as anybody in the sport outside of Aaron Judge. I want to reward that. Acuna. Harper, Trey Turner, and your boy Alonzo Sal, number four. I will say that even though we agree with the Harper-Acuna combination, and, and there are some star players behind those guys, those two I feel like are on a different level. Let's make the call to the bullpen and welcome in Britt Giroli. All right, Britt, what do you have for your top four position players in the National League East? Well, big shocker, guys. I have Harper and Acuna as well. <laughs> I most closely uh, relate to Sal. I don't know what that says about me, guys. Is that good? Is that bad? Sal it's and I are great, basically Brent. on Come the on. same page. All right. Uh, of course, I put Lindor in there and then Matt Olson as well. Is there some recency bias here because of the year that a guy like Olsen had? I think so. But when you look at that Braves team, you could probably make your own Mount Salmore just based off the Atlanta Braves. That's how historic and how good their lineup was this year. So that's what I'm going with. This was a really tough 3-4 choice. I agree with everyone's reasoning. Ariel in particular, giving a little love to the Marlins. I completely forgot about that guy. I feel like the Marlins, you think pitching, and you don't recognize what he was able to do this year. It's just a terrific achievement all around.